Hello friends, viewers, and uh, my dear colleagues. Welcome to Munimeter Health, your source of learning cardiology and about the human heart. I'm Dr. Jaitley, your cardiologist. Uh, let's discuss on this very short video, what is commotio cordis? Well, commotio cordis is actually a sudden cardiac death that's resulting from uh, a, a blunt uh, uh, object which may be normally a projectile uh, ball for, uh, especially a hard ball like in a baseball or a lacrosse ball or even uh, a hockey puck so commonly seen in baseball it could be seen in uh, hockey and then of course uh, maybe lacrosse so these are the three sports where actually a blunt injury can result into a sudden cardiac death obviously the manifestations are very clear because the patient uh, uh, usually is an athlete and uh, the age is normally less than 20 very invariably it could be up to 25 but uh, normally it's males and uh, uh, obviously involved in this very strenuous uh, uh, competitive sport uh, next thing is obviously the the person collapses so there is a cardiovascular collapse at the scene at the field and this should be immediately treated with uh, uh, chest compressions and uh, obviously uh, a defibrillator in place if uh, if uh, a 911 can be called and uh, quickly um, the the BLS or this ACLS be uh, initiated like the basic life support or the advanced cardiac life support so either of those could be initiated rather quick so you know the the survival is really dependent upon the chest compressions offered by the by the bystanders or by other co-athletes or the coach or even the spectators who are around they can quickly get on uh, with the chest compressions uh, the defibrillation obviously requires the presence of a defibrillator um, you know which most uh, competitive sports they have it handy right by the right by the um, yeah, by the field and as a result uh, that could be applied as well so you know the 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 um, uh, the recovery is excellent as long as time is uh, um, the essence here. The time is very, very essential because you need to really initiate these two things in a setting of cardiovascular collapse. Of course, the recognition is very important because you need to de demonstrate that the patient went into a ventricular fibrillation because that ventricular fibrillation leads to the sudden cardiac death. So anyway, here is the heart that I'm drawing and uh, aorta being... Uh, the offshoot here as you see and uh, this is your right coronary if you will and then the left main divides into LAD and then the circumflex goes around like that so these are various branches and these are your coronaries and mostly it is the sudden impact that results um, into uh, um, this uh, impact over the chest uh, which could be rather pro uh, from a projectile object uh, resulting into this cardiovascular collapse resulting into VF and therefore the sudden cardiac death. So, um, so the tree and now remember uh, the, the person may have some structural disease may not have structural disease. So once the patient recovers then obviously certain testings will have to be immediately done. First rule out the structural heart disease. So you obviously need a 12 lead ECG so that'll have to be completed a whole term monitor may have to be done which is a 24 hour as we know uh, a stress test because now you need to do an exercise stress test to physiologically ascertain if there was any arrhythmia that was introduced during the during the during the uh, sport so exercise stress testing a cardiac MRI may have to be done so cardiac uh, MRI is uh, has to be done and uh, last but not the least sometimes a provocation test for a long QT or even a Brocada syndrome which may have to be ruled out because these can these things can exist in young individuals as we know so a provocative test with a pharmacological agent can be initiated to rule out uh, uh, long QT syndrome and a Brocada syndrome in these settings so having uh, having understood what uh, uh, sudden cardiac death as a result of uh, blunt objects striking the chest uh, mostly uh, uh, mostly from a baseball or hockey puck or a lacrosse ball which is hard now softballs like soccer and tennis balls do not seem to be causing commotio cardis so commotio cardis normally results from a hard blunt object moving at a very very rapid pace 
and striking the chest and as a result the cardiovascular collapse occurs and uh, degenerating into a ventricular fibrillation and an immediate sudden cardiac death episode ensues. Now the recognition is very very important as I said is the essence for its survival because the chest compressions and defibrillation has to be initiated in, in the next few seconds um, by by calling 911 and of course initiating then the uh, basic life support or the advanced cardiac life support if it's an adult or even a, a pediatric uh, life support in, in, a, in a setting of a child or a young adult or young adolescent rather I should say. So commotion cardiac is an emergency obviously and therefore it has to be attended to rather quick. Anyway, these are short videos from Munimeter Health, uh, uh, your source of learning about human cardiology and of course uh, human heart. So stay tuned for more subjects and more exciting uh, news. Uh, again, US maintains a registry of commotion cardiac. Other countries are starting to do that as well. Um, we certainly resort to various diagnostic testings like I just defined here, including a Holter or an EKG, exercise stress test, a, a cardiac MRI, and then of course the provocative test from um, by using a pharmacological agent to uh, rule out long QD syndrome and a, and a Brugada syndrome here. So um, stay tuned for more interesting subjects coming coming your way. And uh, hopefully, uh, you know, all of this is information is good for the exams and good for the good for my students and residents and fellows. So I uh, thank you again for your attention. This is Dr. Jaitley uh, from New York on Munimeter Health.